protests in Wisconsin today, including right here in our area over the police shooting of Jacob Blake now nearly a week ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Telecki in Wausau. Demonstrators taking to the 400 block this afternoon. News 9's Amanda Lajeski takes us there. Dozens of people gathering in Wausau Saturday afternoon protesting the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Black Lives Matter! Shot seven times in the back by officers as he leaned into his car. Police saying they tried to tase him twice and that he had a knife inside the car. But Andrew Holloway says this is nothing new. I've been watching people die, black people die since, since back in 54. Protests happening across the country in cities big and small, including Wausau. A lot of people, this just goes over their head, but for some of us, we live this every day, every day. I live it every day, color on my skin. Organizers calling it silence no more, a protest that stayed peaceful, bringing out people like Andrew. Well, we are second class citizens. I'm a Vietnam vet. And Joseph sharing their stories. I'm from Augusta, Georgia, and racism there when I grew up was the norm. Like, we just brushed it off her shoulders. Now Joseph taking his experience and not only sharing it with the world, but also his daughters. I've been living with this my whole life and this is something that I, I do not want to carry on to my kids' generations or their kids and it has to stop. Sisters Nikisha and Amaya saying they also hope for change. It kind of feels pretty sad, but I'm also happy that we can make change and we can get through this and make history. It's sad because we are at a young age that we shouldn't have to know this. And at such a young age, they're staying optimistic. Reporting for News 9, I'm Amanda Lojeski.